Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Dungree, the hit action roguelite that I'm excited to be back to here today. We get to finally be done climbing the Aegis rankings. This is the last one, resetting our level from 30 all the way down to 1. Get an additional ability point, 10 max health, 20% gold drop up. Experience gain just to make it a little bit easier to grind back up to level 30. But bada bing, bada boom, that is done. We get a little bit of achievement for it as well. I'm going to go ahead and take my blessing so I can figure out what kind of character I want to play here. Gwendolyn, when you attack, deal shock damage. Decrease the cooldown of skills, bonus dash damage. I mean, like, that all sounds really good to me. Lots of poking. <laughs> we get a little bit of a Q. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. What do I want to do with that, then? I guess the logical pull would be King of Pickaxes. Kind of do a dash attack. Dash turns into a tackle, pushing enemies away. Um, yeah. Sure, that's that. But we're going to be using this instead of his other, uh, you know, his other pickaxe. I mean, sounds really fun to me. All right. So we do have 11 points to work with. Not incredible. I would say that uh, it seems like a good call to probably go for dashes on the dash damage character. Maybe call me crazy, but seems like probably a good call. So I think we'll grab that. The question is if we want to go for dash recharge speed up. I think the I think the answer is just yes. And I'll get I'll take the two power. Go over here, figure out what we got. Chain armor. I'll grab it. What do we got out of you? Miniature planet. Just every time I open my eyes. Additional damage to frozen enemies. That's a similar thing. I feel like I always find that freaking item, but. We're going to be going in on normal mode for the final time because we are level one. Just feels like kind of a good meet in the middle point. But we also have uh, a couple things we can do here. Change the color of the fairy that appears after defeating the boss. If it is a yellow fairy, reduce your satiety. Sounds very nice. Hell sword. Power up by 50% minus 50% critical damage. Wait, what? That seems absolutely absurd. I'm going to be going for the Snake Fang since it's the only one I can afford here. Uh, so, sure, add it to the pool. Essence of the Volcanic Island. Interesting. All right. Well, in we shall go. I believe that is everything. Yes, yes. But after this, when we are going to be doing our normal level 30 runs, we will theoretically be able to go into runs with two filled out trees in the kind of like talent select, but... We'll see, we'll see. Please tell me this kills. It does not? You gotta be kidding me. Boop, boop. You can do like a little bit of a uh, jump juggling. Like the more times we bounce off of somebody's head, the quicker we get our dashes back. I feel like we could do something good with that today. I do wish we had more than three dashes. That's gonna be the thing is... It does feel like a build like this would get a lot better if we had, um, boy. I'll get a little bit of a mix, sure. A lot better if we had more dashes and thus, you know, more levels. But hey, at least we got what we got, right? I want to check out the cube. 41? 47? 41, I think that was. All right. But yeah, the last time we played this character, we just got too many tools that uh, were not super conducive to a dash run. We just got like a really good gun, I think it was. I think the bazooka. Ooh, I would happily take the armor synergy. That on a dash run sounds great since we're going to be subject to a lot of danger. You know, being that up close and personal. And we don't have iframes. Very, very important to note. I would trade everything for the uh, the iframe dash item. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, this definitely seems like a good start, especially compared to even just um, this. It's just so much better. It's so much better. Whoop, whoop. All right. There's a lot of like really good dash build items too that we always. I feel like I just never can get excited about. Oh, my lord. How did I not get hit there? But I think the big thing we got to keep in mind as well is 
maybe don't go all in on only just dashing at enemies. We should probably use the spear as well. As silly as that sounds, like, sometimes it gets really easy to get caught up in uh, one specific kind of whoop, little play style. I feel like, is there a way we can... <laughs> I don't think I can get the money. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to be able to. Sure. You've been cursed. Current HP reduced. That's... I don't really care. If that can reduce your max, then I guess I'd be a little bit more bothered. But that hardly bothers me. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Gotta figure out the order, like, with this weapon, do we do an attack first or a dash first? It seems like it's kind of long and pokey enough for it to not matter too much. Hello. Digestant. Early digestant is so good. And probably should get, like, a little bit of money to go for that. Could get the gems. I don't know if I care. Like, we're, we're gonna have to do all that stuff later anyways. I was gonna donate. Should I? Let's see. Do I have anything that... Yeah, I don't want that synergy. I've heard it's not even very good. I'm just giving that stuff. I'm fine if I get the axe. I'm not going to use it, but... That could be a reason to use something else instead that's, like, roughly as good as it, but uh, doesn't have a synergy, which I know that sounds silly, but... If I don't want it... You know? Then having that thing and influencing the game to give me that synergy is actively a bad thing. I, I know, I'm going for it. I want to go ham. Look at all these dashes I get to do. If As long as we don't touch the ground. I mean, that's so... With all the armor we have, we get to be stupid. We get to be pretty stupid. The longer we don't touch the ground, the faster our dashes come back. And yeah, I'll take the cowhide armor. So do we pick between the two? What? Gotcha. Okay, I really like that. That's really nice. The fact that if I don't need the health, I don't... I just don't do that. That's great. Uh, more defense, more movement speed attack speed. Are we going to be a tank god again? I feel like being a tank god is a, uh, a great help. For a dash build. You know, let's just get floating. What? Give me two rooms? Whoop. I think it'll actually end up just being one. <laughs> Magical magnifying glass. It seems like it always shows up and it's never uh, never going to be something I'm going to be using with a melee build, but okay. Okay, yeah, our melee little smacks are not fantastic. Whoop. So that item, the, like, the bounce boots... Where it's like, the longer you're in the air... 8% crit damage roll on that. Um, the more damage you do. That could be kind of fun with this. Be kind of stupid, kind of nice. <laughs> Speaking of stupid. Hit me. Oh, yo. It's the dash damage build we've been wanting. I think we can make it happen, Cap'n. I think we can make it happen. Oh, man. If we get iframes on our dash, like, it's it's all ogre. The annoying thing is I think we have to be even more careful about not using dashes before entering rooms, which is annoying to me because I love dashing to just, like, get to the exit faster. But it is suboptimal. It's the thing where... I think I ooh, mentioned it before. I wish... 
that whenever you entered a room, it reset your dashes. I understand there's probably some balance things surrounding that that could be bad, but I feel like you could balance according to it, right? Like, balance for... Get the game feel right first, and then balance accordingly after that. It's usually how I feel. It's a whole lot of nothing. Cool. The fun thing about a dash build, too, is we can just, um... Boop, 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 do that for an enemy that has just, like, a lot of health. And we can burst them. Like, let's see. That's a pretty fun... Fun thing that you get to do with specifically dash builds. Your burst damage is pretty nice. It does make bosses a little bit more awkward from a sustain front. Sustain damage. Whoop, whoop. Lots of health. I'm feeling good, though. Getting, like, th three pieces of armor from the get-go here. Like, I mean, I'm in. I am going to ditch that just because I don't want the synergy at this point. Don't want the synergy. Don't want the synergy. All right. Do I want the food? We definitely do now because of that uh, that new fairy. It's like an even better... Also, there was a good food left. I... Even better to do it than before. All right. Out we shall go. Ooh. Lots of potential air time. Just wait. Charge up our dashes on that. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, the lightning killed that? Okay. Just wait. Go a little bit slower. We want our dashes back. Whoop, 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 whoop. You poor chump. This is strong. <laughs> Definitely grab the satiety one. And then I think we grab the health out of those. Man, the fact that we, like, the satiety reward is so nice. You know what? Let's just wait. Yeah, oh my god. What a good vibe. Good vibe in the stomach there. I felt it. I felt it was a waste. Being rewarded for not needing health, like, seems like a nice more tame a version of the master round system and like enter the gungeon especially since you would have to sacrifice the healing anyways it's more just like well if you didn't need the help here you go you get to get stronger congrats i will say this lightning move feels kind of hard to use due to the um very bouncy and mobile nature of this build of this weapon even I feel like, I guess if we, um, if we weren't, what I'm just going to call the dwarf, I can't remember, is it the miner, maybe? If we weren't this character, we wouldn't be bouncing off enemies with our dash, we'd be going through them. Probably be a little bit easier to get the, uh, the lightning bolts going. As of right now, I think that it's going to be mostly a cheese strat thing. I don't get this room. Why, why does this exist like this? There's not even a, there's not even a fight down there. But yeah, I can like cheese through walls very well. Whoop. Can, like blast somebody from below. Poison bottle. Definitely have not done a poison run yet. Send that man to space. Ayo, 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 ayo. It doesn't hit all the way to the ground, too, does it? It does. Okay, no, there's totally... I can see the use case for it. It's just like a Pikachu down B. No, it, it definitely hit me in the air there. So what's up with that? It's... Sometimes hit the ground, sometimes doesn't. I don't know. 
It's a little bit finicky. It's just like a... I'm gonna treat it like a nice, just other thing that I can maybe possibly use, but probably won't. Yeah, the RNG today is, like, very nice. The early satiety reduction item? Hmm. Along with, like, I would say very lucky is to get the, the triple armor. If we get the full armor synergy, I think that would be nice, too. I don't even remember if I've had it. If I have, it's been so long ago. Probably so long that I didn't even appreciate it. Because I think it could probably turn you into um, a tank god. Because, like, I already feel very strong. I also very noticeable how much more money we're getting. Anything with a synergy that I don't want. Hello. Bonk. Yeah, sometimes the lightning does go higher. Sometimes it does not. It's, I don't know. Relatively reliable. I like having it. There's no reason not to. Like, the weapon's good enough without it, so it's really just... It's sprinkles, right? It's a sprinkle on top of the uh, already good weapon. Also, it does shock damage. That's a big thing. Pop him. Goodbye. My lover. Goodbye, my friend. I think we are done here. Making pretty good time. Oh, is it worth overeating? Probably not. Let me double check the shop. I don't even remember if I, like, looked at anything. I, I did. It's just it was all so forgettable. And I'm not re-rolling the shop. Like, that's a very intentional thing, by the way, if you have not figured it out. I am I am using this currency for finding the food, because I find that used to be really, really good at, like, making me not frustrated and losing optimal value. But I'm not going to be spamming them willy-nilly for shop re-rolls until I have unlocked all of the meta currency stuff that I would need to do with it. Oh, God. Alright, trying to get a little bit of extra value out of that. Man. <laughs> That's very fun. I really like that. I think we can go for society again. A dash increases the power of your... Eh, it's not... It's a dash build, but it's like a different kind of dash build. I really want a freaking anvil? Please? Uh, we go for power, I think, on this... But yeah, I'm, I'm willing to sack basically yeah, 28 health. It's fine. We definitely do this. Ooh. Ooh. Just make sure. Sparkling water. Cool. Good God, the RNG is so nice. I think that's also the thing, like getting um getting that new the new system getting a little bit less satiety from or satiety reduction. Oh my god, I thought I got back in time. The bosses will make it feel like you're just a little bit luckier. Ten whatever, ten extra satiety or whatever it is. It may not feel like a lot, but if you just don't need the health. then you don't need the health. I'm not going to go for that. It's going to be interesting to see what the um, the gem economy will sort of look like. Whoop. Whoop. When we have unlocked all of that meta currency stuff. 
What's that going to feel like? Am I going to feel like I'm too strong? Or is it going to feel like, well, how am I ever going to be able to afford that 20 thing or what? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Are you, oh, my lord. The good news is we are so tanky that that doesn't even matter. As a reminder, we, we came to this floor with, what, 140? Something like that. Whoop, whoop. But we have a very small amount of, like, actual, actual dash items. We just have a dash weapon on a dash character and a bunch of tanky items. Which, I will say, is not bad. Don't care anymore about piggy bank. Thank God. Not going to be doing this until later. Yeah, staying airborne. It's <laughs> the bounciness. I don't love it. I will say, like, it's, it's a fun idea, but it's very tough to do in practice. So I think maybe we should just not be trying to do it so much. We can do it on a boss and like juggle ourselves in the air. Great. Why? Why? I'm. Wow. That sucked. That sucked. Starting to get hurt all of a sudden. Oops. A little bit of food helps that though. Do we take it? I think we do. I mean, like, I don't know if we take it right now. 100%, 110%, 11% burn status speed. I don't have any burn, but that obviously could end up being good. Yeah, I can't help but feel if I had uh, the extra max meta dashes that I'd be feeling even better. Sword path does name. I mean, let's just look at it for a second. I'm not going to use it. cool. It's not inherently like a better dash situation. In fact, it's worse. It's worse for a strict, like, dash-focused build. The succubus has gotta go. <laughs> That's pretty fun. It's it's always fun to have like a little cheese weapon, cheese tool like that. Who can attack through walls? You can. Love that. Hoi -hoi. Yeah, see that that's me trying to use the lightning as part of like our burst combo. It doesn't really work. Let's go back. Let's get a little bit of healing. I may use the healing one off of the boss after this. Doing that mostly for the power and the heal. Alright. Woo! I have to throw all that. So much slick movement into literally just uh, walking into some damage. Not getting a lot of um, healing here. Yeah, we, just... we need to move the uh, the altar's needle here. Oh, that's damage down here. I'm so used to their, their, it looking like there's lava. See, look at this. You can't tell if there's lava down here. It looks like there would be, but that's how it looks everywhere on this map. And then there actually is lava. That's my, that's my one issue with hell. <laughs> it's true though I do feel like I, I run into that, uh, that problem with this zone a fair amount it's like kind of a you can tie that back to a Dungreed issue in general which is like a lot of the times I wish I had the ability to look downwards a la like a dead cells or a spelunky or something where you just hold down to like crouch and then it moves the camera down a little bit there's a lot of times where I find that that'd be very useful. Or just that, like, the, 
the rooms are a little bit too tall for their own good a lot of times. Like, just a little bit too tall. I think I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm hurting a little bit more than I would like. But it's all good. We can we can just take the healing should we need it. And I think I'd probably like to. Like, already. Okay. Jerk. Give me it. God, God, the two position one is the worst one. You've got to be kidding me. See, I got the bounce there. The bounce there was a little bit awkward for me. I only took 10 damage, but I, should we heal? We should probably heal. We should probably go for the heal. Give me an anvil. Thank God. About time. About freaking time. None of these are that exciting, if I'm going to be real. Uh, but we're doing it for the 20% damage up, because that does impact our dash damage. Uh, the power would help with us doing that. This comes with a little bit of max health. We don't have that much percentage max health, so it's really it really is just five. Whatever. Yeah. It's a tough one. But yeah, let's go for the healing finally. We pushed it far enough. I don't see it. What are you talking about? I, I skipped uh, the boss. God dang, man. The track record here is super good. 22% attack speed up could still be worth it, even though most of our stuff is going to be coming from our dashes. This felt right. It's basically, we've sacrificed a lot of money for power there. Because there's a lot of food that I'm willing, gonna be willing to uh, pick up. Uh oh. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! This zone gonna be a thing. No! Oh, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Got an Uzi. Not, not gonna use it. Twin swords. Not gonna use it. I mean, I gotta say this is that's the downside with uh, getting attached to your weapon that you get immediately. Oh, I actually did not want to leave that room. There's a little bit of a little bit of gold left. Whoop. You attach your build, and it's like, well, I'm not going to use any of these items. This is all great stuff to sell. Thank you. What's that last? Isn't the last thing, like, not even... It's not even a high quality. It's the blue armor. It's the blue tier armor. It's not even crazy. Come on, man. I feel like we maybe even have seen it, because it's, like, not a very exciting looking item. Oh, God. I thought that was actually a wall. Oh god. Yeah, this is a this is an I love an iframe kind of a kind of a room, that's for sure. We do have that fairy back there, which is gonna be nice. Oh. Trolled me. Whoop. 54, we're down, yeah, down like 30, it's not, that, it's not that bad. Ouch, bonk. We got a fairy up there, that heart is a fairy. Okay. It's nice to be getting that, like, 20, oh my lord. 20% more money by default has a nice extra benefit of us not really needing to worry about selling stuff at the shop to get enough to buy uh, food. It makes it so that that extra gold you get, you'll get enough to buy food. And now if you want to, like, sell stuff instead of alter stuff, that gives you enough money to buy stuff from... Uh-oh, this is... 
a recipe for the... I kind of hate the succubus. Just from a game feel standpoint, I hate the succubus. Not from like a design standpoint necessarily, just it just feels bad. But yeah, now selling stuff is so that you can buy stuff in the shop, which that feels like a good balance. Ooh. Let me see how this feels. Oh, boy. We'll try it out in one room just for a second here before I decide if I want to. I, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm going to have to try a second one. I think it's good. I think it's going to be good for us. Like... It's like, it's the speed thing that I have the issue with sometimes. Tonfa, I'm not going to use it. It's the only health that's been dropped has been that one. All right. Definitely getting that. Yeah, it's weird to be potentially passing up the attack speed here. I don't know. I think it's probably for the best. Oh, God. Oh, God. Give me... I, I, is it? It's so jarring. I consider the dash speed to be a downside, really. Like, I take, I take it for the dash recovery, and then I guess I'll deal with the dash speed up. The thing that is a quote-unquote positive. Thank you. Hmm. Just let me think about this boss. Could I think it's helpful on this boss? We don't obviously we don't need to get the satiety down on the boss. Ooh, don't do that. I'm not ready. For, I'm not ready to make that choice yet. And we also don't need to. I think we are out of here though. I don't care about the attack speed enough. Just on this specific run. Out I shall go. To fight Slime Bow. Oh boy. Slime boss with this build. It's, it's definitely going to be a little bit funky. I think it might be fine. My dash is... My dash speed probably going to cause some problems, if I'm going to be honest, though. Oh, God. Get let me down! See, that's the thing is... My dash... A little bit awkward for me on this. Since it's bouncing me up higher. That's the problem. Because this this boss is very it's in, very important to move down a platform sometimes. So I'll probably yeah I'll probably be going for the healing again. Sure I'll get a I'll get one of these. Meet in the middle. Let's do it. Just going for a different route today basically. Give me a little bit of healing. Moving to this floor I think I'm gonna want it. Oh, if I would have known we would have had a 20 heal just in this room, maybe I would have said no. But yeah, I'm not sold on this. Wow. Yeah. After swapping weapons, not happening. <laughs> Never. Come on. Give me my armor so I don't even have to worry about it. I, I'm upset. I'm going to do it once because I'm upset. This is a very good item. Have I... I've, like, have I rolled past it? Oh, this is... This is... This is bad. This is a bad sign. This is a bad sign. Uh, it's an offhand weapon. Yeah. 
yeah, this is kind of where... The hell? Two dash count, ten movement speed, and a dash count. Okay, well... Celeste, thank you. That changes things. Not, but it still makes things very dangerous if I want to be doing them the way that's fun. I think that that's the big thing. I think that that's routinely what I've found with a dash build. The way that's fun to play a dash build is not the way that is usually good to play a dash build, which is just the dash, the dash, 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 dash. That's the way that you want to do it innately, right? Like, like, look, I'm just, you zip around the map so much. And that's what you want to do, but it's just not actually very optimal. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to ride it through to the end until I until I potentially get killed, right? Like we did the other run where I waffled back and forth and we ended up not really doing a dash build. Not going to do that today. I will do it until I until I die and boy will I probably die. I mean, we got a bunch of health yet still. I think it's, you know what? Maybe it was just the rooms that we were in. Those rooms were really, really anti-dash. It's not, this is, this is not feeling so bad anymore. Large groups of enemies that can... Okay, whatever that happened there, I have no idea. Large groups of enemies that can all aim at you at the same time. Even worse for dash builds than other builds. Always bad. Always difficult. Dash builds hate it even more. Oh boy. Dash builds hate him. Okay, so now it's like, it's tough. Now I'm like, I don't think I even, don't think I want that extra armor now because I'll feel like I have to use it. The game knows how to get the last laugh on me. It always does. That felt great. That felt great. Give me like a, a staircase to climb forever. We gotta get all the archers out of the way first. We can handle the melees. All right. I mean, okay. I'm not worried about Lasley that much, really. Well, I'm not worried about smashing my face against Lasley until he just dies in a, like, a smash fight. I think I could take a decent amount of damage, though. I think, I think it might be close. If we go in with this amount of health, we obviously win. The question is, how much health do we lose before we get to Lasley? I know we could, I know we could rock, like, removing one of these. I don't really want to. I think the survivability element is, I'm not going to say that it is a dash build thing to have survivability, but it kind of needs to be. Without iframes, you're going to be taking a, a hefty chunk. I think we get one more food before we're done. Let my dashes charge up. Thank God for them both not attacking at the same time. Thank God for extra little health. Uh, magnifying glass is a thing. Yeah. Now I'm at this point. I am just counting down. Like I actively. It sounds silly. I don't want to get that last armor for my synergy. It's going to be a really awkward choice to have to make. Really? Thank you. Potentially last room. If we would have used the... Um the food, the satiety item, I think we would have gotten one more piece of food. 
But I also don't know that there's anything that I'm... I'm not, like, that worried about it. We could use... We could... For six seconds... I think that that would put us under. This is going to be dangerous. But I'm pretty sure, especially if I do this when we enter this room up there. Oh, but we can't enter the second room, too. I think that's fine, because we this counts as one. Puts us down to 101. And then we enter one more room. So I think we're good. I think we're good. And we can get the bonus for swapping weapons. Alright. Oh, it's a 12 second cooldown after... Gotcha. Alright. I was right. So tidy. Perfect. Okay, get ready. I mean, that's... A I mean, that's some damage. I can't dodge that. Boop. A little bit more awkward for us. <laughs> I felt great. Yeah, these platforms make it kind of tough to technically stay airborne. All right, lol. Funny. Yeah, I, I'm like I said, not too worried about Lasley. I said that before. I think I got the super duper dashes though. Uh, why would you get? Why would you take Satiety here? I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't know what it would be. Or power. Not a whole lot. Want to ignore defense is maybe something. Extra dash is probably the way to go. Okay, wait. 15% dash recovery speed. Oh, these are all good. I think that the dash recovery speed, when we have this many dashes, is a big deal. All right, let's get out of here. That's fun. We got almost... Uh, no, no, I was going to say almost all the way up just using the dashes. Not quite. All right. Should be fine. You ready? Swap weapon first. Is it worth it? I think so. That does so much damage. Where even the hell are you? Oh my god, am I gonna die? Not not in the first phase. But yeah, it's some finicky stuff. Oh god. Oh god, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. If I want to do damage, I gotta... I'm, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck there. Yeah, this is awkward. Dash, I don't... I don't love them. They're very funny. But if this is the best, it, it's surely it's not. But if this was the best a dash build had to offer, it's like, it's not even as good as like a pretty good other build. It's very funny though, I will say. The, the, it is maybe one of the funnier and fun, more fun types of builds to play with. I think if you want to go for the dash spam builds, you have to have the iframe dashes, which we just can't have at level one. Nice. 26. Therefore, all we got to do is... Uh, I mean, it was a fast run. That's something worth saying, too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it was a, a fun, goofy run. Why do we only have 2,000 bucks? Because we're level one. Annoying stuff. But, anywho, uh, we did it. I don't think that counts for 
anything new up here. That's, yeah, no. So, I guess what that means is with the, the dash build finally done, I feel free to not have to do it anymore, first of all. Uh, and second of all, we are going to be going back and we're going to be doing some, I guess, key climbing, I suppose. But now we're going to be doing it with, I mean, it's not going to really symbolize it here, but uh, four more points. We get four more points from leveling up, going 27, 28, 29, 30. We will get four points and therefore we'll have 20, uh, the 20 modifiers of two different trees at the same time going which is a big deal like otherwise we would we had to do like a 20 a 10 and a 5 and like it's not bad but for a bunch of the trees the 20 modifier is really like really really good you know the patience one the mystics one's obviously like potentially very very good for long-term stuff satiety levels decrease by up to 10 percent when eating food and additional accessory slot like we can now mix and match in a really fun way now uh, because I'm going to be doing, you know, the same thing I've been doing. Get a run off camera going. Um, and uh, let's see what's up with that. 22. I'll just grab this. Sure thing. I'll probably get some of these gems off camera when I do my run as well. Mini teleporter. You can now open the map to get to a room with a teleporter without interacting with the teleporter. Why is that meta progress? That's quality of life. Why is that meta progress? That's such a dumb choice. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that not just a base feature? Why do you have to unlock the ability to teleport from anywhere? It doesn't help you with, in combat or make you stronger any, anyway. It just makes the game, like, more efficient to play. It's strange. Anyways, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Dungreed. If you'd be sad to see this series go, then boy, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.